Hi there, welcome to the tips and tricks version of the song TikTok. I'm Anthony Meal. At this point, if you haven't watched the first video of just the basic TikTok game, make sure to watch that and then come back to this video. Before we even start playing the game, um, I've talked to my kids about the microbeat and the macrobeat of the song. So we would be keeping it on our laps like this. Tick-tock, tick-tock, goes the little clock. Um, then we would work on the macro beat, which would be um, the longer, bigger beat of the song, like this. Tick tock, tick tock, goes the little clock. Once they feel comfortable with both uh, the micro beat and the macro beat, we talk about which one feels uh, like it matches the song better. And uh, typically, the younger kiddos will say that the micro beat will work better. Um, so then, instead of hopping hands, we'll do um, walking hands. That's what I call it. So instead of um, hands that are going at the same time, my hands are alternating like this. I call them walking hands, so it would go like this. Tick tock, tick tock, goes the little clock. From here I have my kids stand up and they find, uh, I call it self space, so they have a space around the room, all to themselves. And then we're going to travel through this uh, space of the room, they're going to create their own path, uh, marching to that micro beat that they just felt with their hands and their legs like this. They would march around like this. Tick tock, tick tock, goes the little clock. And they would do that all around the room. This marching in the free space lends itself to when uh, the partner in the back marches around their partner during the game. It also lends itself really nicely to uh, when I transfer it to xylophones or um, wood blocks or any uh, percussion instrument. The kiddos already have that internalized beat of the song. To keep the song fresh, because it can be uh, repetitive, I sometimes have uh, partners switch. So I'll say, anyone in the front of their partner group, you have seven seconds to find someone else and stand in front of them. That uh, kind of keeps it fresh, and the kids have a, a blast having a new partner for the TikTok game. If this is pretty basic for your class and they're ready for a challenge, you can add a B section to the song. I typically would do it with a spoken poem. Um, you can make it up, your uh, students could. Um, great opportunity to work on rhyming words. Um, you could do something like, the cuckoo sings, the clock tick tocks, let's get ready to rock, rock, rock. And then the students would know that uh, this would be a transition time. So I would typically have it where the partners in the back would be rotating clockwise around the circle to the next partner. Um, and they would have the B section of the song to uh, travel to get ready to get to the next partner in time for when the A section repeats. Another challenge my kids love um, is changing up the time. So we talk about how a cuckoo will uh, sing what time it is. So one cuckoo would mean one o'clock. So we talk about what would be the maximum uh, amount of cuckoos that a cuckoo would be able to sing and then each round we change the time and we see if our clocks are broken and they are doing too many cuckoos or too little cuckoos or if our clocks are working just fine and they're doing the correct amount of cuckoos. So for example, if it's one o'clock, they would go, open wide the doors of the little clock, cuckoo, and they would freeze like that. Great part about working with elementary kids, their imaginations are amazing. So I like to spin uh, some stories. One challenge you could do, uh, you could say everyone in the house is just so tired and their ears hurt so they don't want their clock to make any sound at all. So uh, we would talk about what audiating means, which, would, which uh, is when a student or anyone is able to hear the, a song and sing it inside their brain. So they would do the whole entire song, audiating the song, even the cuckoos, and they would freeze at the end. So if it was two o'clock, the song would go like this. And that's um, how the audiating part would work. It's also a great opportunity for your students to really um, hear what their bodies are doing aside from just their singing voices. So when there's no other music being created with a, with a voice, they're really hearing their marching beat through the song. And they're also be, becoming more aware of their neighbors around them to making sure that their actions line up with what their neighbors are doing. That just about does it for the tips and tricks for the song TikTok. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, write down below or any suggestions. I love learning too. So uh, fill out the comments below. Make sure to subscribe and share with anyone you know that is a music educator.